Welcome back, True Seeker. It is Sunday, June 16th, 2024. Today is Father's Day, and CNN's big story this morning is how millions face health risks as heat dome descends on U.S. And notice they chose a shot from Phoenix, Arizona, with a billboard in the background with a temperature of 107 degrees. And pretty interesting shot for Father's Day with a heat warning, because notice in Gematria, Father's Day equates to 107. If you're new here, Gematria is the Kabbalistic practice of coding numbers into words. A, B, C is 1, 2, 3. And again, you become aware of this code, you start to see how the news is purposefully using this code in their daily programming. With regards to Father's Day, you know, the Holy Father, Pope Francis, he's very big on climate change. He's written several encyclicals about climate change and what the world needs to do about it. And we've been talking about this over the years. I, I covered some of them in my last book, Number Games. But notice the photo that CNN shows. If you go to the actual article, you can see that the photo is dated from June 5th of this year. June 5th. Remember, that was the day that world leaders met in Paris, France. Paris known for the climate accords. But Paris is also the home of the Jesuits. Pope Francis is the first Jesuit pope. Think about it. Pope Francis, the first Jesuit, when that's where the Jesuits are from, Paris, France. But in Gematria, Paris, France equals 56. Society of Jesus equals 56. That's the formal title of the Jesuits. Washington, D.C. equals 56. That's this nation's capital where the Jesuits set up camp before the feds went there, where a lot of the founders studied in France. The word pope is also 56. So they choose this image from 5-6, the day world leaders this year were in Paris. And don't forget Netflix put out that movie Under Paris on that same day, and it's about uh, sharks getting mutated from all the trash in the water in the world. But yeah, they got the, the perfect date here. They got the perfect temperature up for Father's Day. And if you are new here, there are four base ciphers. The most simple ciphers, the alphabetic order where Father's Day is 107. There are four base ciphers, the alphabetic order, the alphabetic order with numerology, the reverse alphabetic order, the reverse alphabetic order with numerology. Notice how Father's Day and military overlap in three out of those four ciphers. It should remind you that the first act of weather warfare was admitted to by the Royal Air Force, the military in the UK, on the Jesuit Order's birthday, August 15th, 1952. So we're coming up on the 72nd anniversary. That's another special number with the Jesuits. Again, Jesuit Order equals 72. We got the first Jesuit Pope, Francis, on the 72nd day of the year, March 13, 2013. But... The military and weather. In the time of Vietnam, it was admitted to that the U.S. military was doing cloud seeding to create extra rain to flood out the Vietnamese troops in their tunnels. So it is interesting how Father's Day and military overlap. And you got this big headline on Father's Day, and they got to go with 107. Again, if you're new here, my first book, Letters and Numbers, big chapter on weather warfare. And it starts right on that date, August 15th. And we've learned a whole lot more since. If you missed yesterday's stream, we got into Greta Thunberg and why it matters that her father's an actor and his prominent or his birthday is June 10th, which is the same day in history that Lyndon Johnson said, who controls the weather controls the world. And he said it at Jesuit Holy Cross. And he also said it 201 days after JFK's death and the Jesuit order equals 201 like weather control. And again, JFK literally gave a speech about weather control to the United Nations. September 25th, 1961, if you want to look it up. But yeah, again, just please, people, learn the knowledge, learn the code, and see how they're putting these numbers and these rituals in our face every day. And understand, this isn't all just Mother Nature, you know? And also, how much of it is exaggerated? Like, is this supposed to be something crazy that it was 107 degrees in Phoenix on June 5th? Because it's been that way for a while. I, I used to live in Phoenix. I went to Arizona State. Uh, it was constantly in the hundreds in June. I mean, I remember plenty of 120 degree days back in the earlier part of the 2000s. I, I was in Phoenix from 2001 until I didn't make it to June of 2005. I left Phoenix in May of 2005. But... Um, 
and it was already in the hundreds in May. So anyway, we'll keep it short and sweet. Thank you to everyone who hits the like and share. Thank you to everyone who supports the work. And uh, happy Father's Day to all the fathers. Until next time, true sicker.